This is the take part guide for the Apple Mighty Mouse. Here we have the Apple Mighty Mouse here. This uh, it works fine except for this scroll wheel here is uh, really sticky and dirty. So, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a little shim. Uh, the problem is that this part here, this gray part on the bottom of the Mighty Mouse is actually glued and bonded right to the body of the mouse. So there's no easy way to take this apart. Um, but there is a little bit of a gap here. So what I'm going to show you is I just took this uh, um, file presentation folder binder thing and uh, I just trimmed this thing back a little bit like that and cut a notch out of it. And then I'm going to shave this end down so it has a smooth tip and that's going to help me get into the side of the Mighty Mouse. So now on the Mighty Mouse start here where the button is on the side and work your way in here and putting pressure and this one's already been cracked open so it's going to go a lot easier but kind of work your way back from that button around on both sides until you're able to pop this thing open. So once you pop that thing open and it might crack like mine did here on the back, you can see a little bit of a notch in here. Um, then you're going to be able to get at the inside. So then you take off this ring here and then the rest of the Mighty Mouse is still kind of intact in here. So now the trick is there's two tabs up in here on both sides here. And you want to open those things up. So we're going to gently pry with this thing and pop that thing open. Now you'll see it's just hinged here on the back. Same thing here, gently pry with this tool that we made or with your fingers, put some pressure on there and uh, pop that thing out. It's just held in by a slight little detent on there. Then the next thing to do is to carefully remove these ribbon cables. So to do that, just stick your finger in here and gently pry open this and then it'll allow that to release. Same thing on here. There's a slight tab in here where you pull up on that ribbon cable. Now we have the two pieces of the mouse, the base part and then the top part with the skin. If your scroll wheel is stuck like mine is, what we're going to want to do is uh, take our little tiny Phillips screwdriver and we're going to want to remove these three silver screws that are right here. Again, be careful with these ribbon connectors because they're very delicate. Okay, set these screws aside where you won't lose them. So here we have a detail of the culprit. Uh, what we want to do next is to pry um, between this black part here, the housing on the side, there's some pins in here, little catches, um, and this white thing that holds and captures uh, the Mighty Mouse scroll wheel. We could do that by uh, just prying in here or even using your fingers. So we want to separate this thing from the sides and we could just pop this part out. So this is going to be tricky to see, um, but there's four pieces in here, and uh, here's one of them. It's a little tiny wheel that's connected to the side, and uh, then there's uh, this roller here, which is what slides up against the side of the Mighty Mouse ball. Okay, so hopefully you can see this a little better now. I put it on gray, but, and you can see uh, this gray area that's on here. Uh, this is stuff and debris that got in the Mighty Mouse. That's what we need to clean up. When it is clean, it should look like this one that's all white. Now these things are slightly magnetic, so they're going to stick down inside here a little bit, and we need to line them up. So make sure that all these little wheels here, the black wheels, are pointed in the same direction. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and some paper towel and a q-tip and try to see if I can get this uh, debris off here. Everything clean in there, we're going to reassemble this little uh, component here.
they go kind of in a position like this. So if you're looking at it, the black roller is always to the left. And like I said, they're a little bit magnetic. So once you get them in place, they kind of keep their place there. All right, so see how those snap in there? And we want to then add our scroll wheel in there, the scroll mouse. Okay, so looking at the bottom of this thing, uh, this capture thing, there's one piece here that has a little bit deeper tab. That's going to go towards the end with the ribbon cable. So we're going to line this together and then snap it down. Everything should be captured and held in place. Great. So now that we have everything assembled, just double check it, blow it out with some compressed air. Now we're going to go back here to the lid of our mouse and we're going to install this thing back in. So now that we have the, uh, the ball screwed back in there in the assembly, now we're going to put this thing back together. We need to attach these two ribbon cables. Uh, one for the buttons, one for the scroll ball itself. So for that, um, just carefully put them back together and make sure the tab is pulled out and gently slide it in there. Once it's in place, secure the little clip. Make sure it seats down in there. And then do the same with the next one. Once we have the two ribbon cables connected, we want to make sure these tabs here near the bottom uh, are captured in the right place. They kind of snap in. There we go. And then uh, we need to make sure these two tabs here, these two catches, fit in there. All it takes is a little bit of pressure to put that together. Okay, so that's pretty much assembled. The only thing we have to do is put this ring on the bottom. Notice it's notched here for the cord. So we're going to put that towards the top. Now this is the part that we pried off and it was glued on. So you could either use some super glue if you want and, and put a little couple drops on there. Or in my case I think I'm going to use hot melt glue because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to get back in here. So I'm going to secure this with a couple dabs of hot melt glue. That's probably too much. But... I'll just wait until that dries and cut off the excess. Make sure you don't want to put any glue around this button because you don't want to interfere with that. So a few minutes time and uh, oh, we got it all put back together and we should be good to go.